Hello everyone, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I explain how to create a GPO and apply it, to domain users. This policy disables OneDrive for domain users. This policy does not allow OneDrive to be used, and we will learn the steps now. Open the Server Manager dashboard, and from there click on the Tools menu, at the top of the page. From the menu, select Group Policy Management. Then, click to expand the forest, and select the domain you will be working on. Then right-click on the organizational unit you want to apply the policy, and select Create a GPO in this domain, and link it here. In the new GPO window, enter an appropriate name for this policy, and click the OK button. The appropriate name, will make it easier to access the policy, at any time. Then right-click on the GPO that was just created, and select Edit. This will open the Group Policy Management Editor window. From the Group Policy Management Editor, click to expand from the left side, to open the path that appears, in front of you on the screen. After opening the path, go to the other side of the available policies, and double-click on the policy called, Prevent the Usage of OneDrive for File Storage. When reading the policy description, you will find that if this policy is enabled, users can't access OneDrive from the OneDrive app, and file picker. Also Windows Store apps can't access OneDrive, using the WinRT API also OneDrive doesn't appear, in the navigation pane in File Explorer. Also OneDrive files aren't kept in sync with the cloud. Also users can't automatically upload photos, and videos, from the camera roll folder. So select the enabled option. Then click the Apply button, and OK. By applying this policy to domain users, they will be prevented from accessing OneDrive. I will now open one of the client computers, to verify that the new policy is applied to the user. From the client computer, open the command prompt window, and enter the command responsible for updating group policy. After completing the group policy update, try searching for OneDrive. You will certainly find it in the search, but if you click on it to open it, it will not open, and you will not be able to access it. Also, when you open the File Explorer window, you will not find OneDrive on the left side, of the window. This is so that the user cannot access it. Also, in the taskbar, you will not find it in the Quick Access menu. This indicates that OneDrive has been permanently disabled, on the client computer. Thank you for watching. I hope that the video is useful to you. I hope that you subscribe to my channel. Thank you all.